The massive manhunt right now for the Seminole Heights killer is priority number one in the Bay Area. Tampa police tell us they will not stop until they find the man in this surveillance video who killed four people in Seminole Heights. The most recent murder happened at a food pantry off Nebraska Avenue. It's where the latest victim, six year old Ronald Felton, was volunteering. It's just a heartbreaking situation, but we do have our Melissa Mahadeo joining us live there to explain what is going on at that kitchen today. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning, James and Diaz. So time now is just after five, around 502. And I want to mention in the past 10 to 20 minutes, I've already seen at least two patrol cars go by. I literally, there's the third one. I literally just spoke with the Guardian Angels. They walked by here. They say they're going to be patrolling this area until 630 this morning. And if you take a look behind me, you'll notice just a couple of cars. Those are members of the church starting to arrive as they will start to prepare the food this morning, but they are going to be doing so as they are looking at that memorial in front of the church. The memorial serving as a constant reminder of what happened just days ago on Tuesday. Now, Ronald Felton was out here at this time doing what these individuals are about to do, prepare to give back and give food to those in need. That is when he was shot and killed from behind. Police saying that they believe this man did it. They say this is the same man we showed you a month ago spotted near the death of Benjamin and Mitchell not far away. Both times he was spotted in surveillance video for members this morning. They are here though because they are not afraid of the suspect. They say they are here to honor Ronald Felton. Knowing that I'm the one in charge of the food bank, he wouldn't have let me do anything out there today. <laughs> the rest of the volunteers, oh, he did direct to them. Do this, do that, do it this way, do it that way. But me, myself, he wouldn't have let me do anything. Now, as I mentioned, there is a strong police presence out here this morning as they continue to drive by, but members are urging the public and other members as well. Do not come out here until the sun arises. You don't need to do so because this food pantry does not open up until 730 in the morning. So if you intend on coming out here to get food or to help out, wait until the sun starts to rise. For right now, reporting in Seminole Heights, I'm Melissa Mahadeo, ABC Action News.